What if one single idea can make you feel unaware to then making you feel impactful? It doesn't matter like where you come from. As long as you think it's funny, that's all that matters. Well, I'm going to share with you how you can unlock that spark for yourself through my creative journey. Salam and peace, y'all. It's Zul. Welcome to Z Master Productions, also known as ZMP. Uh, I opened this YouTube channel back in October 2010, and I used to make a lot of weird comedy skits and had a few uh, animated shorts, and I haven't been on YouTube for a few years. The past few years, I've been working on uh, a project where, you know, it was first deemed as a labor of love, but then it became, you know, something very serious, and uh, serious, and, but also funny. Um, and the name of that project is an animated series titled The Matumbulas. The Matumbalas uh, is a comedy portrayal loosely based on my upbringing being a Tanzanian American uh, growing up in Massachusetts. Uh, the series is about a quirky immigrant family uh, living in a chaotic suburban town while trying to maintain their Tanzanian heritage. And uh, the series um, have two seasons, uh, both streaming on Quali TV for the past couple of years. And The Matumbalas is also Quali TV's first ever original series. For a while, I never really shared, uh, you know, like this before because uh, I was very reluctant uh, for the past, you know, few years. Um, I guess you can call it PTSD or trauma where I was very um, hesitant on sharing my experiences mainly because of fear that people generally just won't care. Now for me, there are very specific reasons why I decided to uh, create an animation series about my childhood and about my community and my culture. And I will share that with y'all, but not here. Come with me to the park. Oh man. Oh yeah, we are here at the park, Five Island Park here in New Rochelle. Uh, the reason why I like to come to the park is because uh, I always like to get into my creative mind as much as possible uh, by taking long walks, uh, particularly uh, the park because, you know, you just get the energy, man. Um, I just like to be in seclusion anytime when I go into uh, these type of endeavors. Now, one of the few reasons why I decided to create an animation series about my upbringing um, as a Tanzanian American is, one, the lack of visibility of Africans in mainstream media in America. Growing up, I've always uh, seen a lot of Hollywood movies that depict Africans in a very extreme uh, circumstance, uh, whether it was extreme poverty, extreme violence, and uh, you know, although those situations have prevailed and those situations are very much true, it became a general uh, microscope. I believe also the more specific that we are, uh, of course, you know, not creating generalizations, you know, it does help the audience to. Uh, get a better understanding exactly what it is that you're showcasing and exactly what it is that you're representing. And this inspired me to uh, reach out to many different institutions um, and different universities, uh, particularly the African student organizations to screen the Matumbulas. The connection of those students had uh, with the characters where it was a resemblance of their own family, a resemblance of their own selves. <laughs> it became so organic and that became the uh, epitome of just the screening tour and what you guys will see here on the Z Master Productions YouTube channel. I've always realized that many of the Tanzanian youths in my community and also just in my family, uh, whatever ideas and whatever convictions that they had was always got put down, you know, just because of their age. Based on that antidote, it just prompted me just to make a series that had the characters, especially the young characters, uh, the siblings on the show, to be able to voice their opinions and to be able to 
uh, speak on certain subjects that that needed to be met with their parents and in order to have a, a balanced out conversation. Wait a minute. Are we an investment? Don't talk about my investments. By doing that, we, will ha we had a purpose in mind. And that is something that, you know, going into any project that we always say before, the intent, the intent, the intent. And so ageism is definitely one of those intentful uh, reasons on why I wanted to create an animation series. For those of you who might also be curious, uh, this is a very big park. <laughs> uh, there's literally like many different sections. I like going to, I'm gonna show you guys this side here too. Uh, like there's a whole beach here, uh, depending on what your vibe, what your MO is. And people go fishing here too as well. Uh, you can actually get some delicious fish. You know, I don't eat fish, which is something that I also put in the matumbulas. Well, I guess Sofika is having tilapia fish for dinner. Not the Tripoli! The thing is, if it's too many bones, I can't roll with it, you dig? Like, I, I don't really like the tilapia wave, no pun intended but I'm more of like a salmon guy, you know what I'm saying? And I know you can put that salmon right inside the air fryer and it's like this, 15 minutes. Uh, you know, let's just hope that it was healthy. But hey, this video ain't about fish. So, creative frustration. That was pretty much the last antidote in terms of my intent. As I stated earlier in the beginning of this video, uh, I mentioned about how I had this YouTube channel since October 2010. Now to put it in perspective of age, um, October is my birthday month and uh, that particular year I was 12 going on 13 and so now I'm 26. I just got to a point, uh, you know, back in like, I'll say 2020, 2020, nah, more like 2019 and, you know, just getting uh, frustrated with trying to keep up with the Joneses of what can be uh, trendy on social media and how to go viral. And I was very reluctant uh, to do these type of videos online because of the trauma of also being ignored. Um, and that is a real thing as, as creatives. When you work so passionately on a project and for it to get blatantly ignored by people, um, you know, it can, it's personal and it can hurt. Um, and so I was dealing with that a lot. Many of us creatives go through these type of situations and essentially I had to get into this perspective of myself where who am I really doing this for? Right, we are back here, Pirate Studios guys to record episode four of the Matumbulas. In any shape or form, the right people will come to you. Doesn't matter if it's three people, 300 or three million. Um, as long as his realness is there, then that's all that matters at the end of the day. Um, and that's just how I feel right now. Uh, even the word content is, 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 is flimsy now because anything can be content. Like. Like this rock, this rock, this rock right here is now content. All I need to do is just do a TikTok video about this rock, and now this rock is content. I didn't hit my toe. All right, well, I think we got a, enough of that Sunny D uh, for the melanin, so, uh, but anyways, uh, let's head back inside. All right, cut. Thank you all for tuning in to Z Master Productions. Uh, this is going to be a creative journey for all of us. Hit that subscribe button, like button, and I'm excited to continue on with this endeavor. So hope you all stay solid, stay calm, stay blessed, and salam.